What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we are doing episodes 93 to 96. I'm very, very excited. Alabasta, Crocodile, Cobra, VV. We're finally getting into the heart of this arc, or I should say, the saga, because technically after East Blue is Baroque works and Alabasta. So we're in like the myth, the climax of the saga. I'm loving the bigger sagas with the smaller arcs. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, with that being said, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to give the plugins and let's the plugs and let's go right into this episode. Don't forget, if you guys want the full uncut, unedited versions of these episodes, as well as early access up to eight episodes or one week ahead, check out that Patreon. Links for everything you need are down in the description down below. Make sure you guys leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in those comments and make sure you guys subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Let's hop right on into it. One Piece, episode 93. Can't read the title. I forgot. Let's hop right on into it. Look at this beautiful desert oasis, Nanohana, Alabasta. So we're in the city or the town. Yeah, in other cities and other towns, we can kind of have our little mini adventures go crazy. But here, we need to be together, be smart. And <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. Mr. Three. Yeah, Mr. 3 would be a big issue for us being here. You know, I personally like Mr. 3 and his weird eccentricness. The only one that can be out in the open is uh, obviously Chopper and Sanji because he never saw them. She has a lot on her mind going on. I get it. Oh, absolutely not. I hope so. Is it not crazy to think where Vivi would be, though, without our squad? Like, our squad has helped her out so much, you know? She might legit be dead. Yeah, what should we do? I know, right? <laughs> I completely forgot about Like, obviously, we're going to see it through to the end, right? Come on. You've seen what we do with the other places we go visit. Come on, Vivi. Warlord of the Sea, Crocodile. <laughs> we did have a deal. That was part of the agreement. <laughs> Me will never get old. I love it. We got an oasis called Yuba. I gotta write down these city names after Nanohana and Yuba. I want to get all the city names, but I gotta. Hmm. That's my boy. Also, I forgot who commented. Shouts out to your guys' comments. One of you guys told me that Chopper's voice actor was super pregnant during the last episode with his backstory and all that. Oh, that's amazing. Food and water for Zoro, Tabasco for the special stars, you know. Who knows where Luffy's at? Yeah, how did you avoid the big city and end up hopelessly... Oh. Uh oh, a random ass smoke. That means a fire and a fire that usually means food. Yeah, especially in a hot ass place like this. Be the only reason to be fire. Oh, look at the lovely ladies. I bet you animals wouldn't like the smell of fragrance, you know? <laughs> Thank you, Chopper. Thank you, Chopper. <laughs> His boxers are funny. Sanji, we got more important things we got to deal with, you know? Chopper, especially being used to the drum kingdom, how cold that is, this would be this would be quite the extreme change of pace, you know? Get some shade or something. Especially with his fur on him. Oh my goodness, my man would be hot. Someone's going to close that and just get to moving. Chopper's going to be kidnapped. GG Chopper. And that's where Chopper's going. Maybe. Or maybe that's where Luffy is. Green powder. Was it a ri Someone's inside is very terrified, very scared. You're just burning the random green powder you found? What does the green powder do? Cause lightning storms? 
<laughs> Rainwater is perfectly clean. My dance powder, my treasure. Now, just disgusting powder, Luffy doesn't really care for. But if it's your ambition, your passion, your dream, he feels bad about disrupting that, you know? It outlawed it? The government outlawed it from being sold or made? The dance powder. Why? Yeah. <laughs> We got blickies. Oh, these must be for some of the uh, resistance and or the, the militia fighting. The camel himself is going to get a whiff of chopper. Playing dead, hoping they would just bring in his, his corpse. That's crazy. The rebellion, the rebel army. And Chopper took his opportunity to get out of there. Is that Chopper under his cloth? Yes. <laughs> this is quite the hiding spot. He's like, I know you were there the whole time. Oh, they're working together. Shouts out the camel. They gotta look out for my fellow animals. I'm cool, ain't I? You are very cool. Shouts out to Mr. CC, the cool camel. I have a feeling that that was important. And you will see that camel again. <laughs> These guys are so funny. Call it a mutual apology. Rain summoning powder. Probably is worth gold over here in this heat. <laughs> I love the sped up voice. Mm. Yeah, I bet you crops are super hard to grow here. Is it called dance powder? Because it's kind of like a rain dance, you know? I'm, I'm curious. Interesting. They'll execute you. That's crazy. Also said to be what started. I'm assuming he wanted more money or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Supply and demand. I mean, you did burn all of it, but I guess. After all, I'm a pirate with a 30 million berry bounty on my head. Right, he kind of got scammed. Nami and Vivi looking mighty fine. You know, <laughs> you know Sanji picked out these outfits specially. <laughs> the whole squad has a uh, has new fits. I love it. Oh, I've seen Avatar: The Last Airbender. I've seen Bossing Say and getting there. I know how hard a desert can be. Zoro with the swords and his desert fit, I'm telling you, looks so sick. We're going to Yuba. <laughs> yeah, Luffy. <laughs> that is hilarious. All right, on to episode 94. Next episode. Oh, I know who that guy is. I don't know anything about him, though. I told you guys I know the big spoiler, but I know nothing else. So I am ready. His fit already looks fire. Is that... 
what Jolly Rogers uh, symbol is that? Like who? <laughs> Not interested in a thousand years. I just need today, and we're chilling. Oh no! Oh, we're right next to him. Chopper and Usopp are right there. <laughs> He's oh Monkey D Luffy. The same thing that's on my hoodie is he has it tattooed on his arm. He looks what does that mean? I need to know everything. His necklace looks dope, his backpack, his back tattoo. And we do know uh, Ace likes to skip out on his food bills. Yeah, Zoro used to be the bounty hunter, so he would know. That mark. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, it makes sense. I told you he was the bounty hunter. Who, who, whose mark is it? Oh, he's not going to tell us. Oh, what's her fucking name? She's with Smoker. I actually really enjoy Tashigi. Of course she's of course she's getting on the heads of all the sword sellers. Yeah, I fuck with her heavy. I need to get the info about the swords again. If you guys want to do me a favor, because remember she gave like a detailed description on the types of swords and how many there are. If you guys could give me that info again, I want to write it down fully in this notebook. R.I.P. Kuina. Please give me that info in the comments about the swords again. I would love you guys. Wait, if she's here, that means smoker's here. Smoker, Ace, and every and Crocodile, and every. Oh, I love this. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, he's been doing his own thing, not being eyed down a lot, but he needs to not make a scene because a lot of people are looking for him. I would hate to travel through a desert like this. No food, no water. You guys told me as a as another side effect of Wapple's devil fruit that he has a constant hunger. This is, he finally found a place, some, some, some civilization. But it seems like that was a side effect of Luffy's devil fruit as well. This man is always hungry. <laughs> Might even be hungrier than Wapple. I'm not joking. Oh God, he's hallucinating. Someone suddenly died in the restaurant? Oh, I'm talking about Ace, okay. What happened to him? Little do they know he's probably just asleep. He ate a lot of food though. <laughs> he's like, what's the commotion? Why is everyone looking at me? <laughs> yeah, I knew he just fell asleep. Happens to me when I'm eating. Not in the middle of eating, but after I eat a big meal, I get tired. Yeah, he's like, it's good you're right now. You can pay, right? Oh. <sighs> this guy. Same position holding the meat, too. God damn. He is so much like Luffy. Just, oh. He is a pirate, after all, so... Smoker would want to take him in. Second Division Commander of the Whitebeard Pirates. Port Gas D Ace. My god, Whitebeard. The Whitebeard. Look at the reaction to just that name. Is he related to Blackbeard? Obviously, but I'm curious how. Yep, that's one of the things I knew. I do know Ace is Luffy's brother, and he acts so much like him, and I love that transition to Luffy now. This is so interesting. I'm looking for my little brother, Luffy. I need to know everything. I need to know their parents. I need to know their backstory, how they grew up, everything. The one you're looking for as well. Seeing that smoke, I love his devil fruit. Not as long as I'm a Marine and you're a pirate. Oh, he has a log pose on his, on his wrist too. This, this is the reunion. <laughs> the pirate you're looking for just came straight to you and did that. 
pirate both you guys are looking for. Because <laughs> I clan the utensils together. <laughs> they have to go like six buildings across and all the holes. <laughs> okay, way to be respectful. He's like, oh, what up, smoker? I'm just eating. Enjoying a meal. What are you doing? What are you up to? This guy's on autopilot. He doesn't even know you're there. That's so sick. It's so offensive and defensive and utility. So much utility. <laughs> I just remember the entire, entire ass whooping he got. He's like, hold on, let me at least finish this meal. <laughs> Thank you for the meal, officially. Now I have to run. He's like, so who's going to pay for the 19 meals I just made? And the damage. And no hesitation, immediately to action. Shouts out Tashigi. That is so oh my. <laughs> She's like, uh-oh, Zoro's here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just tell him our plan. He's like, what? Crocodile? What are you doing? Yeah, how are you related to Crocodile at all? A warlord here? Oh, he just fell. <laughs> he thought he, like, teleported. I thought he, like, got away with some power. I was like, what? Imagine they run into Luffy finally, and they just see Smoker and Ace just chasing after him. Like, what the hell, Luffy? I was literally just about to say, you're going to see him, like, running and being chased, aren't you? That's what Zoro said last episode. You go towards the big commotion. You're right, Sanji. <laughs> Yo, my boy Zoro, my compatriot, my friend Zoro. Tashiki is not chasing me right now. Zoro! <laughs> He's got some pride on the line. Smoker wants Luffy bad. And I love his smoke powers. I do know based off the hoodie I, I have, my friend's got some fire powers. And if you know anything about me in anime, anyone with fire powers, I fuck with instantly. Look at how badass he looks. Ooh, with the hand too? You made me smoke when I'm fire. That's true. You guys work in tandem. Oh, I love this show. He doesn't even, he doesn't even know he ate a devil fruit. The flare flare. When's the last time they saw each other? His belt looks even cool with the A on it. You're going to hold these guys off? No, I want so much info. I'll catch up with you later, Ace. Thank you, buddy. Ortgas D A. That's a no can do, sir. We're staying right here. All right, Mr. Fantastic Four, the Human Torch, chill out. They're like, what? We have Nami's full backstory. I don't. We don't have Sanji. Oh, oh. he looks so badass right there. We don't have. Oh, I need to know. Is he the only one with siblings? The Zoro. I need to see Zoro's parents. I need to see Sanji's parents. Technically, even Nami could have. No, they're probably dead. Damn. Okay, next episode. All right, on to episode 95. Here we go. Fire powers are so sick. There's not a chance fire powers aren't cool. And I love Smoker and his powers. Fire Fist. That's his. Ooh. They're really having a devil fruit off. Look at them. It's like what Ace said. Their battle can go on forever. Fire and smoke. <laughs> Is a house on fire? Yeah, a floating house. Three years before me. Okay. Three years previous. So three years previous to the, the Shanks 
backstory from episode four, right? Where he lost his arm three years before that. Can you guys confirm? Yes, get out of there and let's regroup with him. Imagine the shock on Ace's face though when he saw the first uh, wanted poster for his little bro. 30 mil, 30 mil berries. He's just running backwards looking. Big bro is fucking swaggy. So now Smoker has a vengeance to both of them. Both of the D brothers. Irumalu, the city of green. Probably an oasis, like actual green. It'd be nice to see some green here in this desert. Oh, they're still missing Luffy. Yeah. Wait, Luffy was just with you guys. Sometimes Luffy is such an idiot. But now we get some one on one brother time, so I'm down. Look at how strong he looks. He looks brawlic. Oh, immediately to an arm wrestling match. <laughs> Obviously, Big Bro is going to win. Damn, we don't even know who won. Shouts out to the bros. It's a dope. It's a dope mark. Show me Whitebeard. No hesitation. He's going to be his own captain. He's going to be the king. The greatest pirate you know. Show me him. Show me him. Show me him. Show me him. Ah, oh, the same mustache as the logo. He looks fucking dope. <laughs> oh, this is going to end poorly for you guys. So who's the first division commander of uh, Whitebeard? I'm curious. I know. You're the captain. You can't even remember where your ship is. We got an amazing navigator. A swordsman who wants to be the greatest swordsmaster. A navigator who likes maps and tangerines and money. And then a cook who wants to find the all blue. And the navigator wants to have the map of the world, you know. And a liar who wants to tell the grand stories. Reindeer who wants to become the best doctor. A princess and a duck. They are all they are all very interesting. I'm down. Let's sing some shanties. He's reliably unreliable, to be honest. We got two big bounties, two big big names right here. I love the nicknames you get once you become like a known pirate. Straw Hat Luffy, Fire Fist Ace. Oh, wow. You're not even worth talking to. I love that animation. You can see it literally. Oh, that's so crazy. Woo! Gum Gum Bazooka. Oh, he's heating the sword. That's so sick. Come on, every time, half the time, he Gum Gum Bazooka someone, they just go team Rocket. Those are the brothers you don't fuck with. We're finally reunited. The squad's back together. Now let's not lose Luffy again. He's like, damn it, I forgot my brother. Luffy is so carefree. So yeah, even Devil Fruit List, he still would beat Luffy all the time. <laughs> That's hilarious. It reminds me of like Ed and Alphonse from Full Metal, how they would fight and spar all the time, you know? Uh-huh, sure you would. <laughs> and he's here. Who can win what now? You were just saying, Luffy? What? Shouts out to them being respectful. Big brother. Uh, you think? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, he's so cool. He's so cool. Oh, this is what they were talking about. The billions. Yeah, everyone's starting to group up all the, the numbered agents, the billions, the millions, the trillions, the dillions, the trillions. He's got his he's like uh he's like Mihawk. He's got his own little personal boat. Oh, he's got a little fire propelled ship. He jumps, meanwhile the ship goes under. He turns into fire and then he just lands back on his ship. Oh, he is swaggy. He is tearing apart multiple ships at once. Oh, he's swaggy for sure. Oh, with the finger on the hat. He's got, I'm like Luffy right now. He's got drip. What are they going to assume they're holding her hostage or something? Hmm. Okay, observant smoker. The princess, part of their crew. And he mentioned, uh... And he noted that Luffy was looking for a crocodile as well. That, ooh, he's gonna put everything together! I would, uh, you're a real Marine. I would, I, would, I would assume you hate them, you know? This man's got a detest for pirates. I wonder if we'll ever be able to change that, you know? True. Okay, so we're all gonna be... It's like Bossing Say in Avatar. We're all convening on crocodile. Does he have a beard that's black? I mean, they did say that on drum that he's after Blackbeard. I forgot that he used to be. He used to be? He, Blackbeard was a part of the Whitebeards? Mutiny. Wow. I can't wait for that. He's not here, is he? Is it weird that every time I watch an episode like this, I want to watch 700 more episodes? Yep. So we're having a little mini arc with Ace. He's got his own thing he's doing, his own agenda, but for now we have a common goal and we're dun 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 Oh I'm way too excited. God new ending We got Chopper in the ending now. That's how you know it's official, the log pose. Is this ending focusing on Chopper? Because I'd be down. All about his new adventures out in the sea, you know? I love this vibe. Just the squad doing squad things. You know, look at that. That's a cute little adorable naps. Looks like the hermit crab, the shell. He's made his new home, you know, with the people. The symbolism. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, on to the final episode of the session. This is episode 96. Cobra finally coming out to address the people. We got a war going on. Drought, hunger, starvation. <laughs> Say something, will ya? I mean, if you can't fix their issues, that's all we can ask of you, you know, to share with them. A king is nothing without his people, and a people nothing without their king. Little do you know, she's doing mad, big, important things. I love the transition right to her. Okay, she's trying to give some important information to her dad. Let her know what she's up to. Karu is doing this. I believe in you. It's a very important job, my friend. That's why you got your little water cup with you. Shouts out, Karu. <laughs> you gotta take a quick sip break. My man is zoom zooming. Shouts out, Karu. Yeah, what do you mean by that? You really think so? I need to know more about that. I'm curious. 
Miss All Sunday. Miss All Sunday is gonna go handle this. The Lizard Runners. Oh, oh they look quite interesting. We got the Squirtle Squad. What are we watching? Pokemon? Kung Fu Dugongs. You'll have to beat me first. The only time you want to engage in an open fight is again. Why is winning bad? <laughs> okay. It is. So now we have a new class of Kung Fu Dugons. <laughs> That's out Teacher Luffy. I feel like I'm a Kung Fu Dugong now. I feel like I'm ready for everything. And anything. Fuck yeah, they're my pupils. Ah, they need the water. Oh, my babies. I know, they're so cute. So we gave them some of our food. Hey, we were only pupils for about two minutes, but I already miss you guys. Kung Fu Dugong. Ooh, this is like a ruin. Is this Yuba? It used to be known as the City of Green. That's crazy. Look at it now. It's literally a ruin. There hasn't been any rain. For the last three years, not a single drop of rain. And that has to do with the dance powder, right? It was non-stop raining there, but it wouldn't rain anywhere else. I'd be doing the same thing. I'd be collecting all that. So uh, an entire cart traveling, transferring, transferring the dance powder. Was that Cobra's plan though? Because those are billions, you know? No, this is obviously crocodiles. Wait, so that's why they have so much rain and we don't? What is the big catch? Oh, so it sucks in like... Fair enough, yeah. That, I didn't even think about that. Okay, that is a big downside. So that's why there's a ban on it. That makes sense. But it was Crocodile using that powder the whole time. <laughs> Stop kicking him like that. <laughs> yeah, I love this. I swear. And then just back to the story. He's ding, 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 ding. That is a deep, empty well. Damn. We got rebels and stuff in the Civil War. To, yep. I get it. This is a rough situation. I was not expecting this to be how Crocodile started the war. First, like, thirst and starvation and hunger. Like, it's smart, but it's so fucked up. Sounds like a fucking whale. Sounds like that, boon, that boy Laboon. Nah, what is it, though? It really is. This is kind of horrifying. That's interesting. That's how much of a ghost town it is. All the buildings abandoned. The wind just. It's like a 
tornado past them or was that manipulated by a person someone or something what is going on oh that is not a person that is a that man crocodile needs to get his ass whooped now Crocodile. Crocodile. Luffy needed to let out some anger. He's very frustrated now. Luffy's a very, a lot of the time, uh, a very aloof to what's going on. But once he actually sees it in first hand and it actually pisses him off, then he turns like this and gets very serious. That's his uh, gravestone. They buried him. He's like, okay, ready to whoop some ass. That's the thing. Truth doesn't really work in situations like this. I'm praying for you. I'm hoping it does. But you usually need you need some irre irrefutable, irrevocable, irrefutable evidence. You know, that's rough, man. R.I.P. to the people of Eremulu City. I don't know the city of Green. It's already over, man. I want to watch like 700 more episodes. I'm not even joking. All right. So before we get into the review, I am going to start it off with a question because I'm a little late on this Q&A. This is from a, a few sessions ago. So this is from, uh, is it Evan or even? I apologize if I mispronounced it. E-E-V-N. Asked for One Piece. I'm just going to assume Evan. Cool way you spell your name. What he asked for One Piece. What is your first, what's your first impression about our new member after entering the Grand Line Chopper? um first off i love how the new ending that we're getting heavily focuses on chopper and his addition to the squad and the daily activities that they do as a squad i am thoroughly enjoying him because of how isolated he's been one he's super down and open-minded when it comes to new things two he's very handy when it comes to not only his medical you know professional all that but him being able to translate, talk to animals, transform into his, his points, you know, a seven point form, like it's so crazy. He's super handy, super amazing. And I love how fascinated he is with so many things we're running across. Like him and Usopp are just like taken in by, he believes all of Usopp's lies. He's taken in by the, the bite of the golden apple that'll let you live for a thousand years. You know, he's such a, he's literally like a child, but that's because he's been isolated on, on drum Island in the drum kingdom for so long. You know, this whole world is crazy to him. And I'm so, I feel like I'm like chopper. I'm exploring all this with him. Obviously I don't believe the fucking apple and the swindling and Usopp's lies. But if I was in this actual world, you can bet your ass. I'd be like that apple lets you live a thousand years, a thousand berries. That's it. Let me, let me grab my wallet. You know, like <laughs> I, I love chopper. He's adorable. He's full of heart um i can already tell i'm gonna love him so great question evan but uh how do you my first impression he's amazing i love him so much not a single member of the squad that i'm not liking great question don't forget to check out that q a if you guys ever want to ask me any questions but this was a fantastic session finally get to see smoker again tashigi ace port goss d ace luffy's brother ate the flare flare or the flame flame depending on the episode because it was like a translation something but uh, fruit and now is the Fire Fist Ace. He is the second command division leader for Whitebeard, who Blackbeard, I assume, was on equal footing with Whitebeard. But now after getting the information that Blackbeard was also a member of Aces, so under Ace, under Black, under Whitebeard. So Whitebeard has to be nuts. So he killed someone among the crew and fled. So now Ace has to hunt him down and eradicate him so that you know that's a that's a that's a stain that needs to be checked and needs to be that needs to be taken care of so i get it i understand that and there's rumors that he was in yuba it was they made a very specific point to say was so i don't think we'll see him in this arc but i love the teases we're getting for future arcs it might not even be the next arc or the saga it might be the one after that or the one after that i just love the teases for the long term they're not afraid to do the long term i appreciate it and i am excited the kung fu dugongs <laughs> were adorable i hope vv can make all this work out with croc with crocodile her dad this is gonna be crazy i'm excited for some fights some more members to see number 
uh mr two mr three mr one all i'm so excited to see all of them you know i'm excited to see all of them again great fights are coming up hopefully you guys are excited as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out that patreon for early access and full length up to eight episodes or one week ahead don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out